In this video, we discuss about math behind a bitwise redshift operation on a negative number. For this, we have taken, uh, this is the problem we need to solve here, minus 10 redshift 3 positions. In order to find out this value, first of all, we need to find out minus 10 value in binary format. In order to find out minus 10 value, first of all, we need to take plus 10 and then we need to write plus 10 value in binary format. This is the binary format of plus 10 in 8 bits. The binary value of plus 10 in 8 bits is 00001010. And then we need to find out minus 10. How do we find out minus 10? Already we have discussed in the previous videos. The negative numbers in the computer system are stored in 2's complement form. For the positive 10, we need to find out 2's complement value. That will become minus 10. How do we find out 2's complement value? We start from the right hand side. We copy all those bits until we get first one. We copy that first one bit also. That means here we start from right hand side. We copy all those bits until we get first one. The first one is also copied here. From then onwards, we reverse the bits. In place of 0, we write 1 and in place of 1, we write 0. This fashion is continued for the last bit. In this fashion, we find out 2's complement value. Once again, I am saying, we start from the right hand side of a positive number. We copy all those bits until we get first one. That first one is also copied and later onwards we complement all those bits. This is the way of finding 2's complement value. And after finding 2's complement value, this is the minus 10 value in 2's complement value 11110110. This is the 2's complement value of plus 10. That means this is the minus 10 value in binary format and then we are performing minus 10 right shift 3 that means we are shifting bit values of minus 10 to the right hand side by 3 positions here we get this particular value 1 is shifted to 3 positions to the right similarly this one is shifted to 3 positions right and so on the entire value is shifted to the 3 positions to the right so this value becomes here, the entire value is shifted to the right hand side by three positions. Now observe here, these three bits are exceeding the register size, then they are truncated, that means they are omitted. And the leftmost three empty places, they are filled with their previous values. Their previous values are both threes. So they are filled with their previous values, including sign also. That's why uh, in the right shift operation, the sign value carries. If the number is a positive number, the end result is also a positive number. If the original number is a negative number, the end result is also a negative number. And then we find out, and then we take the original number here. This is the final value we got. 1111 then we try to find out a decimal value of this binary number. As we have discussed in the previous videos, in order to find out decimal value from binary number, we start with two powers, 2 power 0, 2 power 1 and so on, 2 power 7, 2 power 7. Assuming that this is the signed uh, number, that means the first value becomes the sign value. For this case, we are applying minus to the sign bit value, minus 2 power 7 into 1 plus 2 power 6 into 1 and so on, 2 power 0 into 0. As per the bit positions, we have uh, written all these values. Minus 2 power 7 into 1, this value becomes minus 128 plus, 620, plus 64 and so on, 1. This value becomes minus 128 plus, if you add all these values, 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 1 and so on, 1, we get value plus 127, minus 128 plus 127 and the final answer becomes minus 1. 
therefore when minus 10 is shifted by three positions to the right hand side its value becomes minus 1 in this fashion we perform in this this is the logic behind bitwise right shift operation on a negative number